I've been a bit slow to upload this, but we actually had a really fantastic lesson this time with Raphael. So I really hope you enjoy watching the vlog. So I am off to Pepperwood Park again later today. It's a very cold but um, sunny day, so it's a nice uh, nice day to go. And uh, he is looking rather filthy as usual, but hopefully we can get there a bit early and I can spend some time just cleaning him up a bit. I might even plait him depending how much time we have because his mane is all half rubbed out and does look a bit of a mess just loose. Um, so yeah, Sophie's going to come with me and possibly my husband might come along as well. So it's a little trip out. I swapped my days at work so that I could take today off to go. Um, so yes, and I've got a few pairs of boots that I just need to wrap up and uh, get to the post office before we go. But then I can spend the rest of the uh, morning cleaning my tack and just getting things a bit more organised before we go. Um, so yeah, I'm really looking forward to it because we're going to try this new um, bit that Amber has lent me, which is the new shawl Verbind End, which we tried in my lesson the other day. Um, he seemed to really like it, so although it's only the second time I've ridden in it, I do want to use it today just to get Raphael's opinion. And I'm going to get some videos to send to Philip as well, who um, is Ilphobio's breeder who lives in Spain. So I will send him the videos as well because he's got very good judgment with things like that, and we can work out whether we're going to stick with it. And I'll buy one second hand if so so um yeah so i'm i'm very excited um i always enjoy my Raphael lessons and pepperwood park is such a lovely venue and it's always nice to catch up with the ladies from sussex lusitanos so yeah it's going to be good so here we are arriving at pepperwood park and it's still dry and sunny which is a relief and they've got lovely electric gates that open when you get to outside And then to the left hand side, this um, are their gallops. So I'd love to go back one day and have a proper ride around their gallops. And uh, they've also got really great cross country facilities. And then as you come up around the side of the drive, they've also got a huge outdoor show jumping arena. So I think they've got three arenas. So yeah, this is the big outdoor one that always seems to have show jumps set up. And then there's another outdoor arena which we use for the warm up as well as the lovely huge indoor. And um, this is looking very nice and there's this blue stuff. And um, yeah, so this is the new bit, the Bourbon Dend new shawl. So yeah, that's what we're going to ride in today. And the brow band is um, one that I bought from Stampede Equestrian ages ago and I've never actually got around to using it, but it's really nice. And obviously it goes very nicely with the blue tones. So, um, yeah, we're going to put your, your bridle on now, aren't we? You can see she's a bit comfier in it than this new bit. Oh, smart. Smart head colour, which is very stiff, tiny. Ready? Open up. Open up. Open up. Oh, wait. Just another lovely clod of mud in the top of his forelock. <laughs> Never mind, we'll hide that with your bridle. Uh, yeah, it's the new bit, Elfie. You liked it the other day, didn't you? Hmm? <laughs> you all good? I don't eat my finger. You all good? Yeah, I mean, Elf had this weird wolf tooth out um, a while ago, and I'm really not sure whether all of this chomping is because he's still got. I mean, I know the vets took all of it out, but it was very sore underneath, and I don't know if the reason he is so sensitive in his mouth is basically just the kind of harking back to that tooth coming out. Um, it may be something that he just never gets over, or it may be a case of where we're putting the bit in his mouth is sitting where that injury was. So maybe he's happier with this. You can see now he's stopped actually. Um, this slightly thinner mouthpiece might help because it might not be sitting right where that wolf tooth came out. But 
we'll see. We've just got to trial and error it, really. Um, I think I'm going to get a bit fitter out if this doesn't work for us because it, obviously it gets expensive to keep trying lots of things. Um, but yeah, because we've been able to borrow this one for today, it's um, a good opportunity to try it out on a budget. Right, let's get going. So here we are in the outdoor school, just having a bit of a warm up. Um, so I'm wearing my Iborio boots in black today. Uh, these are the slim regular fit in a size 40, I think. So um, yes, but um, well, hopefully we look smart together. I always feel a bit like I'm covered in hair and mud. So we didn't do much of a warm up outside, it was just a sort of relaxation exercise more than anything, just to give him a little bit of a walk around um, and just get him listening a bit before we went in for the main lesson in the main indoor arena. So we started off the lesson with some just basic uh, lateral work in walk, just to sort of get him flexing and listening. Um, as you can see here, compared to my more recent competition videos, he's so much more relaxed and listening and we're not getting all of this massive amounts of tension that we always seem to get at competitions. So um, yeah, this is why it's a bit frustrating because I do feel like I know we can do it and he can concentrate, but for some reason it's never great when we go to the competitions. So we really need to try and suss out what's going on there. I'm not going to put any background music for the rest of the lesson part of the video because um, there's some really useful tips and, you know, little bits of conversation between Raphael and I, um, which I think would be useful for people watching, explaining the exercises and things. So, uh, yeah, I won't put any music on. So watching this back and seeing him walk around the corner here up closer, um, he's really quite settled in the contact here. Uh, you know, he's not chomping. He seems quite relaxed. So, yeah, I do feel like the bit is working for him. Uh, it seems to be the tension that causes the chomping and issues competition-wise. Now, open the left, close the right. Yes, open the left. Yes, can you feel that? Yes, and again, shoulder the aim, so open the right and close the left. That's the way. And again, conscious in, close your right, and open your supporting way. Well done. Well done, and then straight. So we are ready to produce our half pass. So set the line, and ready to start, shoulders on the leading, to the right, your left ring opens, and now, yes, yes, that's very good, open the left, so you will not allow this to turn down to the right. And to correct this, and to improve your half passes, now we lift the track again in leg in. So open leg in to the center line. Right, can you feel that? Come on, leg in, up to center line, yes. Once we are in center line, Two, two steps straight and half pass again to the right. Half pass right. Thanks. To the car, to the door. Yes. Can you feel now? Yeah. Better half pass now? Yeah. After your leg in, much more crossing neck. Open the ring in the end. Don't allow it to run. Okay, walk. That this is the way to improve the half pass. Set the line. Half pass. Okay, right. Close in the left, not too much. Because if you close too much, the hunch will be in front. So a little open to the left. Can you feel that? Yeah. And just open the right. Look at me. Yeah, look at the middle. Yes. And once you finish your hand pass, you go again back to the leg in, up to center line. Open the right hand. So the shoulder will be in the leading. Come on. Right leg is behind. Left in front. Leg in. Leg in. More. Now straight in center line. Right. One hold. We just stopped for a quick girth tightening because uh, the saddle's been reflopped very recently. So I just wanted to check it was tight enough. Okay. Now, all the way around straight. 
Well, Mark, next. Yes, come on your left, your left. Beautiful trot. Okay, and in front of Amy, make another big turn. I was really pleased with his trot work. He was so much more settled in the contact and he was moving forward and into my hand a lot better than he can do sometimes. With your left, you with your left with any left. Good. Good. Now right into the corner. And now we leave the track on center line and we do the leg in right. Remember, now you open the bring your close right and left. And also with right. Some moments you move to the right, bring in, brings the shoulders into the knee. I think a lot of the issues I have with his contact are to do with him not going forwards enough and then he sort of surges forwards and backwards and it's very hard to keep your hand still and keep a good sort of regular contact. So, yeah, he was working really well today um, in this lesson regarding the contact. You just use the you don't up to the corner, leave the track around center line, leg you up. Okay, come on. Your right leg is very important to touch behind. Your left in front, the bending leg is always more in front than the supporting leg. Okay. Okay, now continue to get shoulder in. What do I do? Yes, yes, the bending leg, touch, 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 and straight, all the way around. And next, your bending rein, your bending wrist. Ah, that's good. Now we need to try the 10 meter circle. There, your bending leg, your supporting rein, come, come. And now your haunch is in the way. Yes, your bending rein, close into the neck, and you open the right. I was really chuffed with this little right. section of work here. Um, yeah, we really look like we've got it together quite well. <laughs> Makes a change. Now, bend your leg, bit shorter, your left leg, open the right, yes, look at it, 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 and now sit down and leg it right, up the center line. Try to see. Leg it, 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 rise in top, left hand, go. Yes. Yes, I think go, go, go. Several times, four loops. Bend the leg, bend the right knees. So you really need to have your wits about you in these lessons and listen carefully because the instructions come quick and fast. So yeah, you really need to be listening and and on it to um, go where you're meant to be going. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Thanks. And again, change to the right. Good. Ready to leave the track around center line legs, leg left. Continuing, now leave the track. And now, that's it, not too much running in this way. Because this is the easy way you have to bend, not so much. That's a very short in continue. A long track. Come on, you're on the right. Good. Supporting way left. Don't lose your left. That's it. Don't lose. Don't lose the left. And then straight, next track, we will miss. Show the hand, please, what we are on aim to get back. Come. You do the transition with shoulder in on. So you can sit before you do the transition, push. And don't fail in the front legs. Keep riding. See? And then we go. That was a good transition. Can you feel that? Yeah. You, your, your legs and your seat was before your hands. Diagonal line, and again, stand, stand and walk, three, three rings. Okay, three rings for one minute. No. So you don't forget that. Your legs and your seat has to be before your hands. Especially when you go from more to less. For example, transition to trot more. Or transition to trot uh, the counter trot. Or transition to trot the uh, hold. You know what I mean? Always legs, seat, hands. There we go, always leg, seat, hands. Then we moved on to some practice on our walk pirouettes. This is a movement in the MCI Sevilla test that we've been doing and um, we've been struggling a little bit with it. That was rubbish.
The main ring is the outside. Once you turn like this, what was that? So you, you are a more modern man, okay? You do a little shoulder dip. You need the shoulders in front. So you use that leg in front, and this way, one second, lift open. Then the horse do that. Once you are here, then you tie back the outside leg. And then the outside leg. And then you do hunches and finish the build. Remember, okay? Try. You can feel. Close your fingers. That's it. Now shoulder rolls. And break. Now turn. Head. Like a very small circle. Now pull back. Punches. Period. Period. This is the way. Okay, so that was much better doing it that way. This is a bit more bending on the left. The head. But the rest was cut. Try on this one. There, in this one, you don't need too much bend because he's already bent on the right. So you just turn. Now pull back a little. Yeah, it's never so good going this way. Always a bit sticky. Now we move on to some canter work. So, 20 minutes. Your bending range. Close your fingers. Yeah, twist your leg. I've got a bit of a bad habit of not closing my hand fully, so I kind of splay my fingers out when I'm holding the reins, which is um, not also helping with the contact. Super job. Super job. Keep that canter quality. And then circle, please, in front of A. Keep your bending leg in front, close to the girl. And now we leave the track on center line for lady riding cancer. You keep that right leg behind in every single cancer. Once again, let's go to walk from what we can. Now, now, keep the track. Straight line to B, B. Up the right hand. Yeah, right leg cut. Right leg cut. Patty. And straight. Shorten your left leg once again. On C. Not too fast the counter. Your right leg, not too fast. Up to E. To E. To E. Yes. Up the right. Up the right. And then counter again. Right leg back. Collect the back. Shorten the ring. Keep this in the left leg front. Okay, we're gonna do now a little bit shorter A and not the trap. Very small bending, meaning no bending. Just body bending, no head. Now straight, and now circle. Keep the track 20 meters. Shorten the rein. Try to collect a little cancer by taking a guinea. And in the feedback back to B, we do hunch in in cancer. So connect it back, open your right hand. And more carry, more hunches, 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 hunches. Patting, and circle again. We try the same job again. First in circle, and after your shoulder is on the track, and then on E circle, and again, consciously. Okay, ready now? Up your right hand, your right skirt touch behind, keep easy in the right contact, keep easy in circle, circle, easy on the left, flexion to the left, flexion to the left, flexion to the left, left leg in front. Now, back to E. Oh, just eat more collective in the can. Come on, you can, you can do it. Come on, come on, arches, arches, arches. Passing, then set the line for half past left in cancer. Right, and now contra cancer. Contra cancer, continue with your right, continue with your right. And then diagonal line after F, shake your hand. Again, collect the reins, and again, try again. Your half up. Don't allow to fell in your right ring. Up. Inside leg. Outside leg. Ready. Now. Quick to the next. 
So looking at this, I think our counter work's really progressed a lot since our last clinic with Raphael. So yeah, I'm, I'm quite pleased looking at this. After the counter work, we moved back to doing some more pirouettes, but in the middle of the arena rather than on the edge of the school wall. We do struggle a bit with the right hand pirouettes, so we practice those a bit more. That one was much better. Now, high back to the right leg. Right leg, left leg. And that was a good one. Okay? One more try on the right. Prepare. High back to the right, please. And now, open the right hand a bit. And now, left, left. Left, left, left. Okay, turn right. That last one to the right was much better um, if you look at the difference between the beginning and the end ones. So, yeah. Not quite sure what he's doing here. Um, obviously, but got a bit confused what I was asking of him. Open the right, forward the left hand. And now, both leg ready, hand up, go. Out leg in, go. And circle. Shorter the rein. We are ready to produce our legging. Remember, line from A up to E. Yeah, your left is best, touch back. Touch back with the left. Open the left leg again. Ah, beautiful. And again, keep Flexion in the left leg. And again, set the line C, line up to E to B with your leg in. Yeah, left. Ah, that's very nice. Now, it's flexion on the left leg. And the straight. Now, we're going to do shoulder in along the track. Very small bending. It is no bending in the hand to the right. Just body bending with your right leg in front. Now, circle. Now, keep that connected counter. Keep that connection. Your legs will see your head and flexion. Bit right left. And now, conscious in. On track. Yeah, your width bit helping. And now, connected straight. Set the line for your half pass right. Come on, legs. Keep riding there. Come on, your left leg. Come on, flexion in the counter. Half pass. Yeah, good. And control contra counter. So keep that left leg counter. Left leg. Contra counter. Contra counter. Contra counter. Contra counter. Contra counter. Contra counter. Left leg. Three loops. First loop, contra counter. Turn. Second loop, normal counter. Go. Third loop. On center line transition to walk. Legs. Legs. This is what we're really struggling with in our MCI tests, the simple changes with the counter, walk counter. So I had asked Raphael if we could focus on trying to work on that in the lesson. To be able to catch the transition. Now, ready? Concentrate for transition to counter leg. Collected. Legs, both. Out leg, in leg. Go, counter. No, he's on the wrong counter. Because there was... There was no contact in the right leg. Circle. You missed that contact. Open your right wrist away from the leg. Wait, don't move your body. Try to use your legs. Left leg, left leg. Walk, just walk. Activity in walk. Now, right leg back, left walk. Counter. No, left leg. The last aim is always the left leg. Yes. The left leg. Circle. Circle. Legs. More shoulder in in that circle. Yeah, you need that bend. If you don't do that, the hunches will come in. Okay, ready to produce one transition at the circle from counter to wall. 
continent in Canada. I tell you when. So I could show the Indian Council, we leg, collected more, 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 and now more, legs. Better. Not too many steps up top. Counter again. Outside leg, inside leg. Touch. Yes. Come on again. So short from the rate. More flexion in the in, in the contact of the leg. Yes. Yes. Ready? Again, legs, legs and walk. Collecting, collecting. Don't do too many steps. Once you go to the transition, you fix, you come back with the pad. Again, prepare your pad. Quick leg, down. Right leg, left leg, the last eight in front. Go, one, two, and go. And circle. Shorten the rings. Too long and you are late. Shorten the ring. Okay, let's going to do a circle tie now. Three moves and two transitions. After every transition, you will change head and we do the other pattern. Now prepare your legs, your legs, your legs, and the wall. Oh, yeah. and counter. Go. And again, to the right. Leg, legs, and wall. Stay with the leg. Yes. Legs. Without legs, not possible. Counter left. Right leg back, left forward. No, go take it to the right. You need start to add right leg counter. That's the problem. This was a massive breakthrough, realising that I was giving away too much right rein, which is why we keep getting the incorrect lead on the left lead canter. The, the, the problem of this canter is your, that your outside rein should be away from the leg. Away. Let that keep. See, he's straight. He's not straight. Like maybe push the haunches to outside. With your legs more. No, no canter. Not yet. Left leg. So he's straight, he's not straight. Now he's straight. Now, open the right, no bending, no bending left. Right leg back, now left forward. And cut, left leg, left leg, left leg. That's, that's the main thing, the left is perfect. Yeah, the left, the left, the left in front, sir. And we try this transition, cut and walk on this circle, short of the rain. You need, you need, you need more legs to do that. Like shoulder in, shoulder in, and now legs close, close, and walk. Legs, yeah, that, you need you. You need your legs there. Again, walk, open the right, double your hands. Now your right leg is back, and now your left in front. Push forward, and now, left leg, left leg in front. Now, left, come on, come on. Can you feel that? Okay, let's go to do a medium counter along the track. Now push to medium counter. Go, go. Beautiful counter. And now on C, transition back to trot. Legs push, leg, legs, legs, and now humble and trot. Rising trot, stretching leg, long range, long range, bending leg. Yes, close your fingers in the ring. Yeah, continue, continue to that connection. Come on, your left leg. That's better. Come, come. Come on, one more round. Yes. Come on, come on. Push with your left leg. Yes. Diagonal line. Stretch your leg. Cut, drop, go. Everyone like that. So he always includes some stretching sessions between the more difficult work as well. So the horse gets a break and a chance to sort of stretch down a bit and relax their muscles through their back and neck. And now, more transition on seat. First your legs, your, your seat and then your hands. Okay. Now you're going to like three rings. Close your hands, down hands. We then move back to doing some more walk pirouette practice. Now right leg and right leg. The quality of the pirouettes from the first ones we did in the lesson, uh, you know, I think you'll agree there is a big improvement there. Much better. And now, just a little bit trot, sit down. We will connect a bit the trot seat with asking a little bit more like a PR steps from behind. This will produce much better connection. So the pirouettes are a good prep to start the baby PF steps, which is what we're moving on to here. Yes. Let's try a little shoulder in along the track at the beginning. Shoulder in left. Next. Well done. Hands close now. Now straight. 
And again, the three half steps with and drop. Downwards, downwards, go, go. And again. Use again your legs with come, touch. I was really, really pleased with him here. He worked so hard and tried really, really hard for me. Close your bending leg and hand. Shoulders in the beginning. And now open the left a little bit here now. Half us. Down hands. Steady hand. Got it. Straight. And again the feet up. With. And drop. That was good. Steady hands down. And again, feet up. Head drop, back up, steady hands down, set the line and half pass right. Ready to turn, use your right bending leg, open right hand for a first moment and now open the left. And half pass, weep, half pass, weep, half pass, open the left, bring it the last steps. And now again, yeah, come back, weep, left hands down, bending left, one down, and again, again. Again, body, straight and back in the corner, center line. Again, your half pass left. Bending leg, beautiful. Beautiful. And I want to do a second half pass now. Now, bending leg goes in front, right, and now half pass to center line. Step leg back, weep a bit. Come on, keep riding. Hands down. Come on, come on, legs will ride. Perfect, go, go. Now, rising drop, left hand. Come on. Now we have to try a medium drop. First, along the track. Steady hand, down. Really place down. Yes, got it. Got it. Got it. Come back. Ready. You can't really see with my helmet on, but I was grinning Start ear to ear at this trot. He felt so good. Come on. Steady hands, please. No moving hands. Very straight leg. Okay, go. Yes, 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 yes. And come back. Easy flexion. Head to the left a bit to make some of the left brain. Flexion left. And once again, straight, please. And again, medium trot along the track. Very steady head backs. No moving heads. Go. Come. Come. Oh, such a good boy. I'm really happy with him. Diagonal line. Prepare for another medium turn. Go. Your left. Connections. And ready? Go. Come. Beautiful. And come back to collect the trout. Okay, now we can stretch it again. Long. Bending leg, serpentine, four loops. Your, your bending leg, please, behind your left leg. The bending ring, the bending ring left. And change. And come. Up. Beautiful. Do the outside flexion, outside flexion, outside flexion. So, having been past this end of the arena God knows how many times He suddenly decided that yes, he wanted to spook at something there Not sure what Remember all the little details we did today, yeah? That's the secret And the last period worked quite good And you remember that outside rain The way you turn Your inside leg in the beginning Especially your outside rain in the last three, four steps. When you don't do that, the hunch is king, and then he, he's yeah, not, he, he just, he just, you lose the hunches. Yeah. You, he's not more uh, turn around the hunches. Yeah. And it was really good. And, and you see that the last part of the city trot with the Piaf, it's very important. Because this is where you, you really uh, work your, your connections, you know? Of him. And then out of that, then we have much better quality in the truck when we go home. Yeah. And then we have to work a lot this canter. Perceive the canter is not enough dedicated. We need this legumes, shoulder aid, haunches, alpas to improve this education in the canter. To be able to collect all the canter and be able to do this transition canter walk 
with not falling in, the, in, in your hand, and not making short steps. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. So it's a lot of work for the for the <laughs> for the days, the days, days and months. Yeah. And uh, this guy, this is for this guy. But he's he, he's much better. I remember the first time you, you bring him, yeah. it was uh, like uh, two years ago. Uh, yeah. I don't remember. Yeah. I think so. And it was very green. Yeah. Right? And green compared to that. Yeah. And it goes very well. Once he's steady in the head, the horse was really nice. Yeah. Really carry himself quite well. Do you, do you think he's happy when he's fit? He's always He's very happy. Yeah. Believe me. Okay. Super. Is this All these horses are happy to work. And when they, they work correctly, much better. Yeah. Because it's more healthy for them. Super young. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Elfie, you're a good boy. He was a very, very good boy. Weren't you? You're getting some biscuits now. Biscuits? Hello. What are you looking at? What are you looking at? Hmm? What are you looking at? Yes, so the bits was a success. Definitely um, think we're going to stick with that. Raphael seems to agree that he was much, much happier in his mouth than previous sessions we've had. So, um, yeah, anyway, he's very sweaty, so I'm going to give him a quick wipe off now and, um, yeah, put his sweat rug on and then we'll get home. So, yeah, very pleased with him. Good boy, I need. So, I was really pleased with Raphael's comments at the end that he thought that we'd improved a lot in the two years since he first saw us and that he's really coming along nicely. So yeah, I finished that lesson on a really good note and I can't wait for the next one. So a big thank you to Sussex Lusitanos and Pepperwood Park for hosting the clinic and a big thank you to Raphael for our lesson again. We really, really enjoyed it. And thank you to Sophie for coming along and helping to video and just get Elf ready and everything. Much appreciated. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the vlog, don't forget to subscribe to be notified of future uploads.